So my original goal in life, I mean, was to be successful. I mean, that was just as simple as I could put it. I was a college athlete, but obviously I really valued the function of being a student athlete, but I still had aspirations of being an NFL. I tried out for the Washington Redskins, made it through training camp, but got cut. And then I went into the workforce. I decided that that wasn't the plight that I should basically uh, pursue. And just I felt that I was intelligent and could be successful in business and decided to pursue that. I emotionally handled not making a team. I felt like there was no one to blame. I mean, I felt like I wasn't just healthy. You know I mean, there was things that happened in terms of my senior year that I missed. As you only have an 11 or 12 game schedule and I missed eight games due to an injury and I just never got fully healthy enough to basically heal enough to create a prominent name for myself. And I feel like you need that buzz going into the NFL. I mean, I was ranked. 11th in punt returns. I was ranked 19th prior to me getting hurt in the nation in terms of catching per game. But it was still a function that if I could have kept that momentum through the season, then obviously I would have been, you know, had that buzz and cachet because I didn't come from a very big school. So it was one of those things that you kind of need that awareness. And obviously me being realistic and knowing that Obviously it was, a, a, I mean, I don't want to say that you, you, you don't have these mountains to climb, but it was just something that I felt like just that I could basically use my acumen in terms of intelligence and, and, and be successful in that versus just constantly trying to pursue this, uh, this football dream. Yeah, f football was definitely a dream of mine. And I pursued it with everything that I had, all the vigor and, and effort and energy that I had and, and, and really went into trying to accomplish that dream or being the best that I could be. But I also value, you know, in terms of me being intelligent as a person, in terms of where I felt like I could be successful, where I wasn't just an athlete. I felt like I was an intelligent person and, and had an entrepreneurial spirit that I could basically create something and create a quality life. And I feel like, Football was obviously a dream, but I feel like one of the things that I think people are attracted to these things of playing sports is the lifestyle that comes with it, but I felt like I could be intelligent. I was intelligent enough to basically create the lifestyle from being successful in another venture as well. So when I went into the workforce, I was, you know, 23 years old, and, and I felt like obviously, um, I don't know. It, it wasn't what my, my uh, plan was, but I feel like we always have to have this fallback plan in terms of where we have this dream, but then if our re dream gets redirected, we still got to be smart and basically have something else that we still can be to do and still accomplish whatever we still feel like we want to accomplish. I feel like we all have an end goal and sometimes there's a fork in the road, but there's different paths that'll get us to the end goal. Now, one of the things that I, I, I did not value once I went into the workforce from being a, an athlete was my physical health. I was just so focused on being successful and, I, and, and being consumed in that pursuit that I really let my body go. I mean, obviously I, I didn't pay attention to what I was eating. I didn't pay, pay attention in terms of, uh, or having time or making time to work out and this through time you're going to have that change in terms of your body is going to change there's things in terms of obviously your metabolism slows down because you're not as active you're not eating as well as you normally did so there's a lot of things that just through time your body is going to go through changes in a negative way in terms of the span of time from when i was a college athlete and just work and realized that my body had really changed. It was a 10 year point in time. Like, and I just saw what, what happens is over there. It's not like I never worked out, but it just wasn't a priority. I would hit the gym a couple times a week, maybe play basketball, but it wasn't anything intentional or specific to help me basically stay on top of who I once was. And so what happened is, is just through that not paying attention to detail in terms of my physique, my body just changed. So it was 10 years from that day that I said, I'm gonna change my life, change my physique. And I tried on my own and, and I started working out consistently. 
And that's what I did. I played basketball more. I, I worked out consistently. I felt like I had some changes in my physique. I probably felt a little bigger, a little thicker, but overall, I still wasn't happy. And I'm saying 10 years from the 10 years that I started is really where I felt like there's gotta be another way. And the other way was basically seeking someone else's help to help me really change my physique and create the desired result that I want. What I accomplished in two months with experts basically surpassed everything that I tried to do in a 10 year point of time trying to do it on my own. I can attest to that. I worked out for 10 years straight and I did not have the physique that I wanted. And I was consistent in my behavior in terms of working out. My food was still off and I didn't realize I was a big proponent to my success at that time. And I was felt I had accomplished some things or had some achieved some status in terms of where you could tell that I worked out because if I wore a shirt, my shoulders look full, but I wasn't the type that if I took out my shirt, you'd be like, wow, this guy looks great. And that's when I realized that I still needed someone else to assist me and help me achieve what I wanted to achieve as far as my physique. I didn't want to just be this full guy that was didn't want to take his shirt off because he still had a belly. Like I really wanted to have a complete package. What was crazy is I wanted to have be in the best shape of my life that I ever been and I was in my 40s. And I felt like how attainable or how realistic is that? But that is what I wanted my goal to be. And I'm looking at myself in the mirror and I've seen myself every day in a 10 year period of time and nothing really affected me. But just one morning, I just got up and was jumping in the shower, looked at myself and just didn't like what I seen. It was just that simple. Just whatever happened that particular morning, I was disgusted. And I was like, and it's not just about abs or whatever, shoulders and all of these different things. I think I just didn't like a lot of things that was going on in my life and it basically, basically, by me looking in the mirror, that represented my my overall life. And so I needed from that day, I made from a decision from that day forward that I was gonna be different and I was gonna change my physique. In trying to make a change, I thought I could do it myself. So I tried to do it on my own. I went back to old workouts that I've done, you know, prior when I was in college and, and thought that that would basically contribute to the same success that I had in the past. But your body is different, your metabolism is different in terms of your time is different. So what I had to do in realizing that I wasn't accomplishing what I wanted to accomplish by doing the same things I did in the past, I had to basically come up with an idea in terms of, or recruit people that could help me achieve my goals. And so what I wanted to do was, which I, I was always working out and wasn't achieving anything, I realized an epiphany went off that nutrition is gonna play a major part in this transformation that I was seeking. And so I sought after someone that could help me in terms of not only with my workout, but design an overall plan that could help me change my physique. 